सो आई जस्ट फ्लू द सिम भाई सच में ये वाला लाइक इंजन फेल कर दिया मतलब कि लास्ट वाले में तीन बार हमने ट्राई किया सो विद द इंजन फेलियर इट्स सो हार्ड टू फ्लाई इन द सिम मतलब कि आपको रडर प्रेस करते रहे अच्छे से उस बॉल को सेंटर में रखना वरना यो यो करेगा एक एयरक्राफ्ट सो या फोर नाउ सिम हो गया है एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग फॉर द एक्चुअल फ्लाइंग इसको थोड़ा एक्चुअल फ्लाइंग दिस ब्यूटी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो आपको कॉकपिट में मिलता हूँ और आपको फोटेज भी दिखाऊँगा सो वीडियो को देखते रहिए डोंट फॉर गेट कहीं यहीं पर बाहर जाओ बीच में ही पूरी वीडियो देख लेना and this is going to be my first actual PA34 Seneca 2 flying. I'm so excited today. So let's see guys, experience कैसा रहता है I'll let you know. जैसा भी रहता है आपको वीडियो में भी दिखेगा So I'll see in the cockpit. Slowly to about 30 and then stop. As we accelerate, the ram air increases the manifold. All right. Okay, you can do a radio call lining up runway zero three. This is a called a Gange bar. You can make sure it's closed. Springs traffic Zulu Sierra Kilo Fox to Golf lining up runway zero three. Kilo Fox to Golf. Okay. Push pull towards you. Pull. There you go. Release. We can go right at the end, so we can utilize the whole length of the runway. Okay. Spring traffic, Echo Bravo Yankee, taxiing from the view bay to the northern end. Turning right rudder, right. little bit of right brake, like a touch of a right brake. Yes. So this is the displaced threshold, right? Yes. This is zero three. What to do last? Oh. Controls into the wind, so we are getting headwind. Transponder, transponder, DI, DI is it? Zero three. Okay, it's fine. So you're going to keep the feet on the brakes, okay, until you reach about 2,000 RPMs, right? 2,000, okay. After 2,000 RPM, you're going to put your toes onto the rudders and gently accelerate to about 30 inches. 30 inches. Okay, let's go. What is the circuit altitude? Six three. Copy. Hand on the control column. Okay, so at 2000 we'll stop and check T's and P's. Temperature pressure still green, temperature still green. Check. Release Rele the brakes. Releasing the brakes. Now look at the manifold and increase it to about 30 inches, both of them. The right one a little bit more. That's enough, that's good. So now a little bit back on the left, we're going about 35, that's good. Airspeed. Airspeed is coming alive. Check. Wait for 75. Wait for rotating. Brakes. Gear up. Brakes. Gear up. Blue line. Blue line. Uh, what's your rate of climbing? 500. Five thousand six hundred after takeoff checks. Brakes applied. In the case up and lock. RPM to two four. RPM two four. Blue levers. Good. And you can accelerate to hundred knots now. Brakes up and go. Bravo Yankee. Packeted one four three eight. Claps to zero. Bravo Yankee. Do we need to push here? Yeah. Press the button. Ah. Press the button. Pull it up. Press the button now, pull up and down. Okay, turn left now, watch your rate of climb, power is good. 
So your power is set for climb and turn left heading 210 now. 210. Yes, Altitude check. Altitude 63. And leave the power, don't reduce the power. You can do a medium turn heading 210. Power is good, you don't need to reduce the power. I'm still climbing. And one center we can also adjust the power now. Yeah. Now can you see a manifold needles? The left one is a little bit higher than the right. Yes. And just match the left one to the reduce it to. There you go. And watch your altitude, please. Don't climb. You can maintain six five. Can you see the runway? That's your airfield. Yes. Two one zero is good for us. It's the left downwind runway zero three. Yes. Oh, it's still climbing. Got a lot of power. But you haven't said Spring traffic Zulu Sierra Kilo Fox Shot Golf and left downwind runway 03865. So, can you notice how sensitive is in the pitch? Yeah. You have to be more gentle onto the pitch. Your passengers will get sick very fast. More gentle. Yeah. See the tower? Yes. After the tower, we shall turn left to about 120. Okay. The dam is called Ergo Slime Dam. Air goes slime stamp. Slime stamp. There you go. Okay, you see the call flaps? Yes. You can close them. Press and then. Yeah, press the silver button and up. Be gentle on the page. Uh, I'm gonna go in the Joburg radar. The radar is here on our right. Fine. Yeah, my side is clear. Uh, my side is also clear. So heading 120. 120. You can use a heading bar. So on a CSU aircraft, right? We don't need to always keep the hand on the throttle. Okay. Not like our 172. Because our RPMs are controlled by the governor. Okay. So no matter we climb or descend, the RPMs will remain the same as 24. Right? Right. So if you look at your manifold, how much are we sitting at? Uh, 30. Uh, 31, you can see. Uh, reduce 2 inches for now. Very sensitive with the black river. Like a 1 millimeter change. A left one, let it. That's good. Maintain altitude. You see the dam in front? Yes. It's called spring slime stamp. Spring slime stamp. Slime stamp. And on right. your left is your spring CBD. Okay. You can feel it. It's very sensitive at the pitch. Uh, this time I'm <laughs> getting used to this. Yeah. It's like. Uh, it's like I'm also scared. It's like what if I will push more? I can also feel the pressure. Here. Yeah. This is your ground speed. Yeah. One fifty one. Yeah, you can change the frequency to 1254. That is special rule, you can do a radio call. Special rule, east? Yeah. You can take Spring Slam Zam as your reference. Special rule is Julius Sierra, Kilo Fox Dot Call. Currently at 6500 feet, uh, coming aboard at Spring Slice Dam on QNH 1024, Kilo Fox Dot Call. It's like, <laughs> it's multi, so I have. Some people call it a multi command twin or something. You can say Kilo Fox would call it a Piper Seneca. Okay. Alright, now we shall climb to 7000. So when you have to climb in a multi, you don't have power. There's already a lot of excess power available, yeah. right? All we change is the attitude of the aircraft. Okay. okay. Try to pitch slightly up and climb at 500 feet, top of it. 7000. So now our manifold pressure is 26. 26, that's good. Once we level off, we shall bring it to 25. Can you see on the GPS this triangle? That's yeah. the GF. Okay. The so VF frequency you can put on standby 124 decimal 4. Standard. 
Alright, can you see the gear phase of cattle farm? Yes, go towards the cattle farm and maintain 7000. Then check it to the gear. Ah, uh, okay. East Rand General Flying Area. So we are in north of. Northeast. East Rand General Flying Area, Zulu Sierra, Kilo Fox Dot Golf, Piper Seneca 2. Coming from the northeast side, at 7000 feet, we'll be here for next uh, 20 minutes. Kilo Fox Dot Golf. That is your kettle phone. Yeah. This frequency is the same as Pretoria GF2. You will hear a lot of people talking Pretoria GF2. Okay. You go to kettle farm, you see the town over there? Yes. That's called Nigel. Nigel. Yes, that's a boundary. Okay. Nigel, this town at the back over here is Endicott. Endicott. Alright, so once you swing the level, I want you to climb to 7500 at 500 feet per minute. East train, General Frank Area, Zulu Sierra, Kilo Fox Dot Golf, overhead, cattle farm at 7000 feet, climbing to 7500 feet. We'll be here for next 2 0 minutes. Kilo Fox Dot Golf. In a 172, when we climb, what happens to our RPM? RPM decrease, decrease yeah. Look at your RPM now, it will not decrease. <laughs> it stays the same. This is a good thing about the CSU. Okay. In this aircraft, I'm more focused on the instruments. No, 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 you can look outside. Look how the horizon looks like when you climb. Look at your wingtips. And they are almost on the horizon. Yeah. And also you can see because of the engines forward, your ground visibility is reduced. Yeah. Not like our 172. Okay, when ready, you can turn left heading 120. Left 120. Clear right, clear front, clear left. Okay. You see the power station in front? Right. Secunda. Okay. Okay, I want you to trim the aircraft for straight and level and take your hands off the control. Then you trim it. That's good. Settle head stand fire first. Once you trim the aircraft properly, you can actually fly with two fingers. Okay. Aircraft. You don't have to hold it very tight. Got it? Can you see it's flying nicely? Perfect. Okay, when ready, we shall do some medium turns left and right. Okay. And select a reference and a heading. Maintaining 7500, let's do a medium level turn. Come back to the reference of second power station. Okay. Left. Right first. Okay. Then I'm going to turn the wheel right. Top of the current. And left. Currently. Coming over at the left crossing runway 20 at 6500 feet, we'll be joining circuit for runway 20. Okay, also look at the horizon. Yes. Why is it cutting a windshield? It's a picture constant. And this one is on the horizon. Good. Continue to the left. Your right front center. Make sure always you say that. Okay. Very quiet here. Yes. Not a lot of traffic like the uh, <laughs> uh, Job 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That GF is so busy. Yeah. So much. And it's very far away. Can you see how quickly we came? And because of the also the Golf Alpha Victor. Yes. The viewer, most of the people are also coming to the viewer. It's looking good. Very hot. Yes, that's why it's off. It's like a I fail safe, fail safe uh, mechanism. Alright, let's do a descending. To 6,500 at 500 feet per minute. Uh, descending to 6,500 6, at 5. 500 feet per minute. 500 feet. 
So we don't need to change the power. No, attitude change and you will notice it's a bit more difficult to descend. You will notice because of the extra airflow over the wings. Then use one hand. Now uh, it's pulling. Yeah, it's gonna resist. Secure tight. Yes. That's uh, good. Uh, 500 feet, please. <laughs> oh, it's going for the second end. You can use the trip, huh? Running it difficult, eh? They're decent. Lot yeah, more we have to uh, push it forward more. Better force. Also, did you notice your manifold increase? Yeah, it's an increase, right? As you go higher, the manifold decreases. As you go Low. lower, your manifold starts to increase. Yeah, once you reach 6500, what happened to heading? Yeah, it's changing. <laughs> Put it on 030. Okay, I want you to do a climbing turn to the left. Climb at 500 feet per minute. Okay. Left heading 240, climb to 7000. 240. Let's get it settled at 030. How many degrees bank for the climbing turn? 15. Okay, copy. The right Kill your turn, kill your left. This is half of Kill your power section, 7,500. Descending 6,000, reaching Kitu. Javik 125, so Kilo Foxy Ball, Senator to 6,600 on a climb to 7,000 feet. Start Maripo Mars, East of Delmas. We're heading for Eastern General Flying Area, Kilo Foxy Ball. Please be turning to the left. Don't turn, don't turn, don't okay. turn. Yeah, on the right. And flaps 10. Flaps is ten. Okay, on the base you have to want to maintain blue line, and final approach you can slow down to blue line minus five, eighty-five, and landing speed eighty knots. Okay, landing speed eighty, and yeah. so on the base we don't want to go below blue line. So let's okay. turn base flaps twenty-five. Watch the tower. We have to turn before the tower. Look outside now. Eh? So this road you see? Yeah. We want to fly on the road or parallel to the road. So remember that. This is called N17. Reduce the power to 17. Fill of action ball left way 0, 3, full stop number 1. Reduce it more and descend to about 6000 feet. Do you have runway visual? Yes, I have. Confirm 3 greens. Confirm 3 greens. Flaps 25. Yeah, it's very heavy for round out. I would suggest you trim it back or trim the nose up when you come on final approach. Okay, on fire. Yeah, don't go below 6000 until you turn final. Okay, the call flaps open. Call flaps. One by one, look at the runway and start the turn. Blue lever is fully forward. Fully, uh, fully forward. Aiming point is the threshold, right? Uh, yes. Okay, full flaps. Full flaps. Pull. Pull. There you go. Confirm three greens. 3 greens. Okay, go manifold below 15 inches to about 13. That's, good. That's enough. That's good. Perfect. And trim it more back. Trim it. Speed at 5. That's good. All you do is change is the pitch attitude, eh? 80. That's good. And on the throttle, add power. Gently. Little bit. That's okay. Beautiful. Nice and stable. Confirm three greens. Three greens. Speed is going uh, 80 yeah. still. Yeah. Aiming point is the threshold. Lower the nose. Lower the nose. Lowering the nose. Yeah. Lower the nose. Reduce the power. Come in the center line. Right, right, right. Ailerons. Lower the nose. Lower the nose. Reduce the power. Lower the nose more. Continue with that power. Don't close. Don't close. Don't close. Okay. Don't close. Continue. 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 Less aileron input. Stable. Stable. Just fly parallel now, close the power. No, too much aileron you're putting.
stable, stable. Yes, hold it more, 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 more. Okay, try to avoid this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so just stable. Okay. Yeah. Keep the aileron stable. You can do that on a 172. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can tap the brakes to slow down. Hello, Fox. Go from Echo Bravo Yankee. How do you read? Uh, release. Two seconds on, then release. I read you fine. Two seconds on, then release. Okay. You, did you feel how heavy it is? Yeah, it's just sinking down. Yeah. That's fine. That speed is good to vacate. Another thing, do not reduce the power unless you coming yeah. up over the runway to round out. Now I check this time. It will <laughs> sink right. very fast. But we will we'll come right when you do circuits. Spring traffic, Julio Sierra, Kilo Fox Dot, Golf, Vacated Active. Transponder to standby. Transponder standby. Up is already zero. Make sure to E. Left up here. Traffic Echo Bravo Yankee, I'm trying to cross in runway 14, taxi to the holding point 03. Echo Bravo Yankee. But one thing I checked uh, when we landed, so he wants to go like it was going like this. Uh, it wasn't because remember when I told you keep it stable, then it was fine. Don't do too much of this. Okay, just hold it. Keep it stable, yeah. If you if there is wind, because there is not a lot of wind, not a lot of crosswind, right? Keep it stable. Keep the wings because you don't want to land like this. Oh, the first time I'm happy with myself. <laughs> first time, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> the landing. Yeah. I was thinking so much, like I don't know how I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's not difficult. It's just. You have to be patient, not like a 172. Don't close the power very early. Round out, just fly parallel. That's it. But it also feels like it's going so fast when we are fly uh, flying just above the runway. So the one more thing is coming to the mind. Can we? What if we are going to overshoot the runway? That we will think when you're doing a touch and goes. Okay. <laughs> we're doing a full stop, right? So we can land deep also. <laughs> it's fine, not a problem. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Alright, coming back on power. Where is neutral? Come back on power. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, hey, it's good. Park brake, please. Now, when you release the pressure of the handle, make sure the pressure is there on the button. Yes. Okay, hey, 1000 holding RPM. 1000 holding RPM. You wait for about two yes. minutes. So here is a timer. You can use any one of. Guys, well, thank you to my instructor. For Good. This was this beautiful bad. flight. Yeah, for the first intro. But this aircraft is actually so stable. Yeah, stable, and you got to. You can feel little bumps, but not that much, like Cessna. Also, start thinking fast. <laughs> also, when you're coming in for landing, you see because the turbo takes time to spool up. So guys, that's it for today's video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Kudafis, Madhavendra.